Hello, hello, Mr. Van Leader here. I like my beats fast and my bass down low. And today uh, I'm going to be ensuing recent uh, commentaries which talked about why I hate Bruno Mars and the Royal Wedding to bring you uh, a sort of traditional uh, gameplay on the map uh, Zoo, which you're about to see some uh, random pictures of in the background. Um, yeah, uh, it's sort of more relevant, uh, I think, because the PlayStation users don't have this uh, map yet. I myself uh, am primarily a PlayStation user, but uh, in the recent outage became a Xbox uh, sort of a, a refugee over there. So uh, I've bought these maps, I've played them a few times, and uh, maybe I can share with you. So uh, you'll have a leg up if you're uh, also primarily a PlayStation audience. Um, you should get the maps uh, very early June. Uh, I think the third, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, it's going to be a bit traditional. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments, whether you like this kind of breaking down stuff with uh, theatre mode and all that kind of stuff, or if you prefer my lame attempts to be funny. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, so the first thing to say about this is uh, that it's probably not the best thing to do. This was the first time I spawned at this end of the map, uh, and it's not the greatest uh, route to take. The reason I took it is because I usually run left at the other end, and I was cutting off the hypothetical me. So uh, the reason why I jumped up here is there's a decent height advantage. You've got a pillar there, which is uh, basically impenetrable cover, so you can always take cover right behind that. Uh, the notional me would go down into this pit here where the uh, camera is and sort of clip right here uh, looking in the other direction. Uh, there's no uh, hypothetical me on the other team and there up there is the sniper perch where people could rush to and indeed uh, having used theatre mode a guy actually does that. Uh, I just don't show it to you. So I'm going to run uh, round the outside or through the middle. Ooh, decisions, decisions, and I changed my mind and decide to come uh, eventually through the middle. Uh, there is a guy, see, there on the uh, sniper perch in the top uh, right-hand corner and uh, another guy getting wasted. Uh, the reason why I go up the middle uh, is because I want to take control of the uh, monorail station at the far end, and uh, I don't want to go directly there because there you see the monorail station. Anyone who's up there has a brilliant view down that uh, mid-map. Uh, they're going to be probably expecting me to pop up uh, one of the directions and uh, yeah, that look there, uh, they can see the window, the door, the whole of where the B flag would be in domination. Uh, it's just a really good line of sight and it's the building that I want to take over. So you see me sneaking through there in the bottom left hand corner. Probably the best way to go through because uh, there's the most uh, cover that way uh, and the attention's probably going to be drawn more to the right of this shot. Um, by the enemy because that's where the, the sight lines are a bit longer. So um, I just decide to, to sprint straight through here and uh, check up the top because I assume that someone's going to be up there because it's a very popular place. Uh, certainly when you get the first uh, night of these maps on PS3, uh, I guarantee this will be a popular hangout. So uh, didn't really see anyone on the way through but see some red dots on the map so I go chasing them and uh, he's not really expecting me to come from uh, behind him, uh, the direction he's just spawned at the start of the match, so they're out. Um, I'm obsessed with this piece over here, you see me aiming down sights, uh, and there's a really strong spawn point over there. Um, it does come into play in a bit earlier, and I'll talk uh, a bit earlier, a bit later, and I'll talk about it when uh, we get to it. So I'm obsessed with that direction, so I keep checking back there, basically. Um, the other direction to check is where that guy just spawned on the right hand side. Uh, I don't really want to stay in the end of this monorail too long though because you're pretty exposed and this position right here is the best one because you've got cover from the wall behind you uh, so no one can see you up the middle of the map um, and you've got uh, a, a height advantage on anyone spawning back there as I go and check there again uh, see a guy but don't kill him because I'm using the Enfield. Uh, which is a pretty bad gun and uh, I'll talk about that a bit more when the time is right. Um, but for now uh, this is the, the position I sort of retain for a fair while. Just There's no uh, friendly teammates uh, on the, the radar over in that quadrant where I'm obsessed with so sooner rather than later I'm convinced that they're gonna spawn over there. So another spy plane up, uh, catch that guy there, uh, 
know that there's going to be another guy coming through the building and to tell you the truth get a bit lucky that uh, I don't get hit by the Semtex so back to uh, the theatre mode and uh, I'm now going to show you uh, this spawn here and why I've been obsessed with it so a few guys just uh, spawned in there on, on that section there's one spawn uh, directly at the bottom of this uh, image here I think another one sort of on the bottom right of this image although no one actually spawns in there and then a couple more by the sniper overlook and where the, the B search and destroy flaggage, which is pretty much in the center of the map. Um, so I've got the height advantage on these guys. You see the guys uh, spawn in there and go straight to the sniper perch. Um, and just guys keep respawning there in that section. Uh, we haven't got any teammates there, so uh, the spawn is uh, deemed uh, safe by the game and people just keep uh, reappearing there so that's the reason why I'm obsessed with it actually in that clip it doesn't get used as frequently as it, it does at other times they spawn a bit sort of further up in mid map uh, but uh, I swear to you this is one of the strongest uh, points so this is uh, me again looking through my eyes uh, sort of recapping what we've seen before uh, as I fail a great deal on the last stand guy um, and yeah, just uh, camp in this place basically. Now I know guys are, are looking for me because I've killed a fair few up there and sure enough uh, Mr. Silent Spaz 12 comes up. So there's going to be no more uh, theatre mode moments because uh, I've got the blackbird in so you can sort of see for yourself uh, where the enemies are going to be. Don't want to go around on the right here because there's a guy up high on the sniper perch and I've got a, a Spaz 12 so uh, close range only run through here, back through the building I came through at the start and catch this guy. Um, know that this guy's here on the, the Blackbird, so I use my last few rounds in the end field, uh, four rounds left, but effectively useless because you're not going to be killing anyone with that. Pick up the gunship and uh, yeah, just this guy's isolated on his own. Uh, don't know what floor he's on, so check that he's not prone there behind the, the bar or whatever it is and straight upstairs friendly claymore uh, although it scared me and there he is in the corner so uh, grab his stoner so I've had a, a, an Enfield uh, red dot with uh, dual mags uh, a spaz 12 silenced and a stoner with a reflex sight so uh, nice random weapons for a change uh, yeah very good uh, this guy's jammers Dan but uh, was protected a little bit by the yellow dumpster uh, although it was not deliberate um, the guy was just very bad indeed um, but if I'd have been a bit more out in the open uh, I'd have probably met an unfortunate end uh, by an absolute noob there um, so this is uh, a place where snipers will like to hang out uh, if you're playing the, the map for the first time sort of in the is this an elephant home or you know some, some kind of big animal uh, home where they can run a roam about I'm not really an animal person, I don't don't really know. Um, reload the spares, uh, obviously the blackbirds faded down now so I'm just going to look for a quiet spot to get in my chopper gunner and this is a, another sort of decent thing worth knowing about if you're playing the map for the first time. Come directly under here and there's a ladder at the far end there where I'm looking now that you can get up into uh, the building right in the centre of the map uh, on sort of the, the main street through the, the map through uh, by Domination B. So I'm going to leave the... Uh, what is this? It's not a Huey, it's a Hind. Uh, leave the Hind in, uh, just maybe you can pick up a, a few more of the, the spawns yourself. Um, yeah, it's not an amazing Hind, uh, but it does the job. Uh, it's more fun to use than the chopper gunner. Uh, and I was playing on my own, so I wasn't worried about uh, other people in my party just chaining uh, Hueys uh, one after the other and never getting the chance to call it in. Uh, so when I play solo, uh, I do quite like to run the big uh, 11 kill chopper. Uh, pretty good fun. Rockets are entirely useless though. Uh, so there's the, the spawn that I was obsessed with at the start of the game. Pick up a couple of guys in there because I've, I've looked away. Um, so you can see that it is certainly a uh, well used uh, area. Um, these guys here spawning in, uh, I think that's where the, near where the A search and destroy bomb or maybe the B search and destroy bomb is and uh, run out of time in the hind. So uh, I'm flawless here still, um, I've got a stoner, I've got plenty of ammo so don't want to be too aggressive because I'd like to keep me flawless game but uh, you know have a 
further look around the map. Uh, this guy is very bad. Survive that. Uh, and now, now I think there's a guy on my right here, so I'm debating how to get him and that guy clumps around the corner wearing clogs and I hear him and take care of him. Um, so again, this is that, that middle building, which I do do like. There's an equivalent building on the opposite side that you can go under that I'm looking at now. Um, but that uh, building seems to be uh, more popular, right? I find that this is a good sneaky route through and you can also get out down the ladder uh, and out into where I went to, to call in the hind. Um, so a good place, a good place. Um, see the care package is called in, throw a nade. I uh, think there's one guy back there. Uh, get a hit marker, get an assist, so I assume he's dead. And uh, there's another guy back there who is bad. Um, so I kill him. Uh, and now my teammate comes along and brings a, well, I think it's a care package, but it's actually, uh, it might be a care package with a sand turret in it, but anyway, it comes down, it's a sand turret, game's about to end, and we don't uh, have any opponents capable of putting air support up, so I think, well, you never know, maybe it will get someone to be tempted in to steal it, and sure enough, uh, he's there, so... Uh, I picked up the G11, by the way, because uh, I'm running out of spares, ammo, and... Well, it was the, the only weapon lying around. Uh, do quite like it, but yeah, it wouldn't be my absolute first choice to pick up. That would be a FAMAS with, with dual mags as a secondary. So uh, there you go, a flawless game, 36 and 0, using the Enfield with red dot, dual mags, uh, flak jacket, uh, warlord, obviously, uh, and ninja pro. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.